Welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Today we have more D-Day beach invasions and this might be the coolest D-Day beach invasion yet. We have a downed LCVP Higgins boat, we have an alive LCVP Higgins boat, and a bunch of US soldiers and rangers already dropped off assaulting a heavily defended Omaha beach defense here with tiger tanks, We've got G43s, we've got Car 98Ks, we've got MP40s, we've got a MG42s and snipers, small head sniper here inside the bunkers. We've got it all defending against the Allied beach invasion and finally rockets in the back with the SS officer here. This is going to be absolutely incredible. If you guys enjoy these videos, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. Let's get it. Alrighty then gamers, let's go ahead and press start right here and the US Army Rangers begin the assault forward ya. Yeah. Let us see how the Germans do against these boys. Uh, already some shots coming in, not killing any US soldiers just yet, this is just light arms fire it seems. None of those tank shots hitting them just yet, but more and more shots start coming in. Ooh, hitting this dude right in the old nutteroonies. That must be not very fun. That would hurt quite a bit. We do have a Tiger tank right over here guarding this entranceway. Uh, so that thing could take out some serious US soldiers. And it starts by just nailing one single M1 Garand soldier right there. Uh, rip, rip, potato chip to my man. We got some bazooka troopers coming up here. Come on, get a line of fire going. Start launching some uh, shells at that thing because... Uh, these Tiger Tanks need to go down, and they need to go down freaking fast, baby. We do have some G43 Troopers up here, which are defending this small little trench line with the Tiger Tank. And we got US Soldiers coming up over the top at them with shotguns, BARs, the whole nine yards. Nut shot with the, with the shotgun, that's a bird shot shotgun, right into the nuts, right into the balls. Absolute brutality right there. U.S. soldiers are struggling to get up here, but once they do get up here, they just start absolutely destroying with their fire. Germans do clap back a little bit, but not a crazy amount. How's it going towards the middle over here? Oh my goodness! Quick work already done of the first trench line, but the second trench line seems to be giving the U.S. soldiers some trouble here. And uh, it seems like the tanks are also giving them some trouble. Direct hit just absolutely launches this boy backwards. Oh, that poor, poor man. Come on, boys. We got to take out this Tiger Tank. We got to take it down and just just get rid of that sucker because it is doing some serious damage. Massive explosions coming from the Nebelwerf, as we can see their missiles coming in over this way and uh, causing quite a bit of strife in the U.S. lines. Oh, God, that's going to be so devastating. Oh, my Lord. We do have medics coming in the back lines, but... Uh, not entirely sure that they're going to be doing all that much for the old boys, the Rangers. They're just still having a terrible, terrible time here. Oh my god, just immense fire coming out every which way. Just take out these Tiger Tanks, boys. There we go. Top Gunner off of that one, already dead. This one's Top Gunner, also dead. Beautiful. PEA, beautiful. More Devil Vefa shots come in and strike these US boys, though. Absolutely decimating them. How's the right flank doing? They're still dealing with this Tiger Tank over here. Just take out the- there you go, there you go, Tiger Tank down. Just take out the Tiger Tanks, and you guys are Gucci. These small numbers of SS troopers, probably not going to be able to do all that much. Oh yeah, look at this, look at this. We got multiple bazookas coming on in here. Oh, this could be deadly. This could be absolutely deadly. Come on, boys. <sighs> no! Oh, the Nebelverb has got an extra shot off and absolutely wiped those guys. Wiped the floor with them right there. My goodness, that is no good. But we do have more bazooka troopers coming around the right flank and some shotgunners and BAR soldiers. Come on, boys, just get in there. Honestly, one one bazooka shot. I got this. I tripped and fired at the ground. Oh my god, here you go, here you go, here you go. Oh my god, it's the dodge. The dodge resulted in that. Oh, there we go, there we go. Big bazooka shot. Okay, we have uh, an eight second reload right here. Hold on, hold on. Hold your horses. We got a second before we can fire again. Oh, God. Oh, fire. How did that? That did beautifully. We killed, like, almost all of them. I'm telling you, bazooka shots are beautiful. All right, go at it. He's dodging. He's still alive. He's still doing okay. Come on, baby. Show us some big boy moves. Oh, my lord. 
Who is left alive for the US troopers? This is like becoming a defiant victory. Sorry, Zelda's blowing her nose in the background. <laughs> if you could hear that. Uh, I think the US did lose here. They've apparently got someone still alive and SS troopers going to go find him. Oh, it's these guys. These guys couldn't get out of the driver's seats of the Higgins boats. That's pretty funny. Oh my god. Absolute brutality here though on the battlefield. Oh, and there's one guy over here that gets gunned down. All right. Why don't we go ahead and get another World War II battle going here? All right. The next battle we've got, folks, is going to be a very large uh, siege fortress here that the U.S. Army is defending. It's very derpy, but I like it. It's got character. And this is totally accurate battle simulator. This is the best we could do. Oh, there's ramparts here. Hold on. Wait. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I did not realize these were ramparts. We can add more soldiers. One second. Okay, I can't really add more soldiers on the other side because I can't see it. But eh, we, we got some soldiers in there. Totally accurate battle simulator. Great game. But man, does it still lack some serious basic control abilities. I mean, just like plain old abilities are just missing from this game. It's a little bit silly. Wow. I kind of forgot that some of the U.S. banner bearers have the artillery effect. Uh, that's, that's a little rough right there. That's a little bit tough, but we got Germans swarming in this way. Just a whole lot of Germans. Just so many Germans, dude. Look at these guys. Just swarming in. Just getting in every nook and cranny here. They've got grenades too, I think a few of them. If, if they can get them off over here, that'd be great. But it seems right now they're struggling to do so, and instead it's just sort of like a like a clobber fest over here. Just just two sides duking it out like nobody's business. It looks like the Germans are going to win this little micro fight over this way. They're going to beat their way through these uh, American dogs. And uh, we do still have some American snipers up top here. Come on, buddy. Get the kills with this Springfield. You are dead. Not good. <laughs> um, yeah, bit of a yikes there, but we still got plenty of interior defenses here for the U.S. Plenty of stopping points. Plenty of areas where the U.S. can say, no more. Wow, you just blew up like four U.S. soldiers all by your lonesome there, feller. That was not helpful, was it? Okay, Germans coming in here and getting absolutely clobbered by uh, the choke point that is the U.S. interior defenses. Germans ended up basically rolling the exterior defenses, but come to the interior, and oh man, it's a little bit of a different story here as the U.S. just starts to clobber them. Just starts to give them the one two kapuya punch and uh, really annihilate a lot of these MP41 wielding soldiers. Um, these are supposed to be MP41s, even though it's just a recolored MP40. Yeah. Hey, these what it is. Hey, these what it is, dude. We still got plenty more U.S. soldiers on the interior here, ready and willing to defend against the oncoming German forces. A oh, one bazooka shot will wipe out so many soldiers. Does anyone have a bazooka? Sadly, I think we do not have a bazooka, but yeah, plenty, plenty more BAR soldiers, plenty of M1 Garanders. Uh, plenty of, plenty of duder pooters. Yeah, look at that. Just absolutely slaughtering these Wehrmacht Volkstrom soldiers. Woo! Well done, U.S. boys. Who else is left for the Germans here? Seeing a lot of dead. Are these ducks? Big old ducks up there. I like that. I like what I'm seeing there. Oh. There's, uh... Oh, these are U.S. soldiers coming through here. It's like they broke through and are now hunting down. Last remaining Germans. Who are you shooting? Oh, there's this guy right here. Oh, he's juking them. Oh, these are Germans too over here. Where, where were you guys going? Oh, look at all these guys. Just like stuck in the back here. What on earth? This is like the secondary squad coming through. Poking their way through. All right, come here. Come here, buddy. All right, ready? Oh, look at that. The kickback on this is like negative brick. There's nothing. That is beautiful. Oh, wow. You are deformed, aren't you? I am sorry about that, bro. Hate, hate to see that. Ow, okay, you got shot. Um, here. Oh, this is a grenadier soldier. I kind of forgot those existed for the US. That's nice. Look at this. Oh, we did it. Blue victory, baby. 
Let's go. All right, let's get one more map going. For our final battle, we have really something incredible. The entire British army. And this is the British Empire. So we have big eye boy. No, we got New Zealanders. We have uh, people from India. We have uh, people from Australia. We have people from Canada. Uh, you know, mainland Britain and a number of other places here. There's a lot of faction representation in tabs, actually. Versus a staunch German trench defense. A massive trench line here. This is pretty brutal, honestly. Uh, so, we'll see what goes down. Um, yeah, the Brits have fairly basic weaponry. They just outnumber the Germans by a lot. Wow, the first line of bridge immediately destroyed. And uh, the Germans are holding out actually okay. They've taken a few losses here uh, because, of course, they just faced immense, immense bullet fire. Uh, but still, the trench itself is helping them out by just keeping them under cover by quite a bit, which is really nice. But here comes the second, third, and fourth line of uh, Brits all at once here, and they are tearing these boys apart. Rip bozos, boys, rip bozos. There are still plenty more German soldiers further back, including some snipers, MG42s, stuff like that. Uh, so, I mean, there's still some opportunities here, uh, but it seems like, yeah, the all of the British nations coming forward. It's a bit much. It's a lot to handle, dude. It is a lot, a lot to handle. Wow, uh, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe a few too many soldiers to handle, in fact. It's a bit extreme. This is just like the crushing result of this. Uh, this is absurd. Oh, here's some MG42s though in the back here. Maybe they'll be able to be able to get some serious kills. I don't even see that much output fire from the Germans here, to be honest. I really, I don't. Oh, there's a little bit. There's a little. Wow, that's a lot of Brits. Oh my God. Holy smokes. Okay, I don't think these MGs have got it. They're actually they're getting some kills though. They are getting some kills. Let's see. Ah! I'm trying. Weirdly, have a lot of health as this guy. Oh, I died. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got we got some kills. We did get some kills, but yeah, these this horde absolutely crushed us. Absolutely crushed us. Absolutely devastating, comrade. <laughs> Either way, guys, I think that is going to be about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more. I will see you all in the next one, though. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.